Hi, and welcome to Match Day 2020. It's the greatest match day on earth at Mount Sinai, and we are so thrilled that you're joining us. We are live in Aaron Hall at the Icon School of Medicine at Mount Sinai in the greatest city, New York City. And today is just, if you haven't been outside, get outside, but don't go outside for the next 30 minutes because we have something special planned for the class of 2022. My name is Tara Cunningham, and I'm the Senior Associate Dean for Student Affairs at Mount Sinai. And for today, consider me your ringleader. I'm going to walk you through a number of very special guests. And at noon, all of our students, please come down to Aaron Hall to the Big Top Tent. We are going to celebrate your success after you receive your results reveal. You know, we're thrilled to have you a part of our Match Day program today. This is something that started in 2020, and we're gonna hold on to this notion so that you can celebrate wherever you want to be with whomever you want to be in that moment. And we are just so fortunate to see all of you logging in for the day. It is a gorgeous day here in New York City. Sun is shining, it's pushing 70 degrees. Folks, we haven't seen this kind of weather in months. So we have a lot planned for you after the event. Gifts and games and prizes. And to Dr. Mueller's absolute disappointment, we have no dunk tank. However, we have food and music and gifts and plenty of other things to bring you on by. We also have the larger than life match day map. We hope that you'll pin your location and allow us to see and celebrate your successes. Before we welcome our first guest, I really though have a several thank yous to owe to the cast of many that have helped make today's fun and celebration come to life. First, the production crew here in studio and remote, and our production uh, producer, Maylisa Best. Thank you guys for making this all happen. Student Affairs team, it's a circus every day, but I particularly feel it's a bit different today. So thank you for your tireless work this week and all the time, but particularly this week. But there are a lot of folks that I also want to acknowledge that have been a part of our students' journey from day one, and really to our faculty, to our mentors, to the clinicians and our residents across the teaching hospitals and throughout our medical education and Mount Sinai system. Thank you for escorting our students through the journey of medicine. Um, they are leaving here a fine, compassionate, competent physician, and it's all to your thanks. To the staff, you're the ones that keep the machine moving here in medical education, so thank you all for your work. The learning community, faculty, and wellness advisors, you've been there from day one and have been able to watch our students grow and develop into the most uh, best undifferentiated physician, but that changes today when they find out where they're going, and we're just so excited. And finally, to the Department of Medical Education leadership and to the Icon School of Medicine at Mount Sinai leadership, thank you for your continuous support of students and training um, to get them through this journey and really prepare them for what is best and, and most to come. So with that, I'd like to welcome our first guest, Dr. Dennis Charney, the Dean for the Icon School of Medicine at Mount Sinai and President of Academic Affairs at the uh, Mount Sinai Health System. Dean Charney, welcome, good morning. Thank you. Good morning. Uh, first off, uh, class of 2022, congratulations. Um, as you'll find out in a few moments, uh, you've had a phenomenal match. You all did fantastic. Uh, many of you are staying at Mount Sinai. I'm personally thrilled about that. Uh, but in addition, uh, many of you are going to the very best uh, hospitals and health systems in the United States. I know you're gonna make Mount Sinai proud and, and you're gonna have a, a terrific experience, experiences at those uh, hospitals and health systems. Class of 2022, you are going uh, to be remembered forever uh, in the history of Mount Sinai. Uh, you're a very special class. Together, we have gone through an unprecedented fight against the COVID uh, virus starting in March of uh, 2020. You, you experienced uh, you know, what it was like to be in that fight and you showed tremendous character, dedication, courage, bravery. Adversity reveals character and the, the character of this class was certainly revealed in the fight against COVID-19. I, I predict you know you will look back upon this experience as students with us in fighting the pandemic, uh, you know, with pride, and you will say, "I was there. I was in that fight, 
and I helped uh, save lives, work side by side with uh, my mentors, uh, faculty, staff, and uh, you know just work together. So you know I want to thank you for that. Um, you'll never be forgotten as the the class of 2022. For those of you who uh, are staying, I'll see you around. And uh, for those of you that are leaving, please stay in touch as alumni of our school. Again, congratulations. Congratulations, all the fourth years. You're all incredible. It has been delightful getting to know some of you better through the ASM clinical experiences and to also know that maybe in two short years, I too will have the level of knowledge and clinical reasoning that you all have. It's really incredible and really inspiring. Special note to Zai, my incredible roommate for the past couple of years. You have been so wonderful. Thank you for just always giving me the wonderful advice for helping me learn how to do a venipuncture poke when I don't think many people would have ever let me do that. But y'all are incredible. You're incredible, Zai, and all of you are incredible to all the fourth years. You rock. Congratulations. And hope today is so meaningful and celebratory and joyous and that you're just going to have a really incredible 2022. Hi everybody. I was told to not scream and to speak in a conversational tone when I congratulate you. So let me get real quiet. Congratulations. But in all seriousness, really enjoy what happens today. Enjoy what happens next. I believe in each and every one of you. Great job. Hi friends. You did it. Congratulations on match. Uh, it's been such a pleasure being your classmate. I've enjoyed getting to know you all and I know you're going to go forth into the world and do amazing things. Uh, enjoy this moment uh, and have fun in July. Hey everyone, I just want to say congratulations, class of 2022. I hope you all match at your first choice and I look forward to seeing those who stay here at Sinai. And for those who don't match at Sinai and go somewhere else, good luck to you. I hope you have a great career. Congrats congratulations, again. Congratulations, Saloni. You're incredible and I'm so, so excited for you. And just like that, Dean Muller appears. So I know you don't need an introduction to the audience of students, but I'm going to do it anyway. I am here to welcome Dean Muller, the, David Muller, uh, the Dean for Medical Education. So Dr. Muller, I, I want you to maybe think about the day you matched. What about this day, kind of, what do you feel about today, either from your experience or from our own students' experience? Um, tell us how you're feeling, really. Honestly, Tara, I'm feeling based on this setting like I'd like to talk about my latest film project and my upcoming show on Netflix, but instead, <laughs> I'm going to talk about Match Day for me uh, a long time ago, many decades. Uh, it was awful because I was full of anxiety. My wife and I and two little kids were wondering where we were going to end up for the next three years of our lives. Uh, we actually went off into a quiet corner, the two of us, and shared the envelope together, and we're so happy that we were staying in New York, actually coming to Mount Sinai from where I was at medical school, so it was Joyous, absolutely joyous. Well, would you trade in places? Would you be sitting in Aaron Hall right now waiting for your results or you're comfortable sitting on the couch as the Dean for Med Ed? I mean, I'm comfortable sitting on the couch here in this position um, having had the experiences I've had, but I have to say that the feeling of um, excitement that comes with going to the next stage of your life, it's just something that um, you, have to, you have to treasure for the rest of your life. It's really a very, very special opportunity. So I'm kind of jealous of people who are going to open up that envelope and find out where they're going to be and what they're going to be doing. I wondered if you could just share a little bit about the perseverance that this particular class has endured over the last couple of years. If we think back to March 2020, about the time when we were celebrating Match Day, these students were coming in second year or coming around the corner from second year. And just what these last two years uh, have, have been for them, for us, collectively at the school? So um, it's a great question, but a hard one to answer. I can't speak to um, what it was like for the students. I can say certainly for us, uh, no one expected back in the beginning that it would last as long as it has. And I think what we've, we've learned among the many lessons we've learned is that there is um, no challenge that we cannot rise to. As a med ed team, as a school, as a community of, of uh, people in New York City, as a, as a nation, um, Lots of mistakes made along the way and things we can do better the next time a pandemic comes around, but 
but it taught us that we have um, just an incredible ability to band together and rise to the challenge. And that's going to be something that all of us use um, for the rest of our lives. Absolutely. When you think about you know, those that have supported our students outside of the faculty that we have within medical education, I wonder if you can just give a glimpse just how large, it, how many folks it takes to train a medical student. So we think about the cast of physicians across our system. Maybe just give a little context to just how big of a place Mount Sinai really is. Um, it is a big place and, and as, as you probably are alluding to, there are thousands and thousands of not just uh, physicians, but also scientists and the nurses and the physical therapists and the patients who give of themselves to teach our students. Um, and then there are the families of students all over the country, sometimes all over the world, who are there as a support system and kind of a safety network. And I think that we also can't afford to forget the fact that our students support each other to an incredible degree here. I mean, they set a standard that every incoming class after them tries to rise to that, um, that level of peer support and collaboration um, and making this a warm and embracing community to, to the extent possible given the usual pressures that people have to deal with in medical school. So when they, they head out, they leave our institution, some are saying, some are going, what is it that you hope most for them? And, this, you know, and that's a really big question and we don't have an hour to answer, but what is the one thing that you really um, hope most as they, they continue their career in medicine? Uh, I think what I would say, what I hope most, is that um, every one of you just keep an open mind. It's not what's in the envelope, it's what you do with what's in the envelope, and you have no idea how that winding path will play out over the course of the next years and decades. Just embrace it all along the way. Um, I think that's what all the people I've met with over the years who've been successful have been open to that, um, that course correction that happens in all of our lives, uh, and then something beautiful will em eventually emerge. Fantastic. Well, Dr. Muller, thank you for spending time with us. We hope that you stick around. You help celebrate with you us. You want to talk about my, my new show on Netflix? We're not going to talk about... Okay, fine. All right, maybe next year. Maybe next year. Nice try, nice try. But we do have bills to pay. And to help pay bills, we've got another commercial break. So stick around and help pay some of those bills. Congratulations, Class of 2022. Wow, this has been some journey. You have seen firsthand the marvels of medicine and science and have also been witness to the devastating impact that disease and illness can have on communities. I hope you take these lessons with you as you enter the next leg of your training and continue to be amazing change agents and advocates for your patients and for your peers. Congratulations again, and I look forward to celebrating all these things with you in the coming days, weeks, and months. Hey everybody, just a quick greeting to wish you all the best of luck this week. Looking forward to celebrating with you and best of luck. Happy match day. We can't believe this day has arrived. We are so excited for you. Cannot wait to see all of the amazing directions that you pursue and wishing you all the best to you and your families on this really exciting time. Class of 2022, congratulations. You have made it to the finish line of medical school. You have been through a lot over these last several years and you have been so resilient and I am so proud of all that you have accomplished. Most importantly, I am so excited for your future patients. Congrats. Congratulations, class of 2022. And thank you in advance for a lifetime of free top quality medical care. It does not go unappreciated. Hello, class of 2022. As you line up on the flight deck and are about to zoom off into your careers, I just want to wish you all the best and in your endeavors. Hope you accomplish all that you want, that you're happy, you're safe, and you're well. And do stay in touch with us. Uh, I can tell you I will miss you, we will miss you, and we want to hear about all the things you're doing and how you're doing. But for now, go do what we trained you to do and make the world a better place. Good luck. And welcome back. And it just keeps multiplying. <laughs> like, where did y'all come from? So this is a dynamic trio, a triple, triple trouble. I mean, we could do it all day long, but I want to do a quick round of introductions. <laughs> Dr. Lauren Linkowski, Director for Academic Programs, the step one, two person, the first person you call when you leave 
Prometric. We have Dr. Stacey <laughs> Leesman, uh, a famed co-director for curriculum and a course director and a nephrologist, a rock star, like literally she's wearing the jacket, she can sing, <laughs> and Dr. Angel Palermo, all things known to justice in the world, fighting <laughs> diversity, not fighting diversity, <laughs> inequities <laughs> and, and really supporting our and students. Embracing, yes. A friend <laughs> that I call, um, sister from another mother, I don't know. Uh, so tell me, ladies, all the work that you do, it's in, in different ways, all support students. And I, I wonder, what is the one thing that, from each of your lenses, that when our students leave, what do you want them to remember? I know Dr. Muller just answered the question, but it, I'm always fascinated by how much support goes into our students here, and each of you play such a critical role. So Dr. Leesman, you wanna lead us off and share those thoughts. Yeah, so I just, this month, got to do physiology with the first years and eye to eye with the fourth years. And I think what mm -hmm. um, connects them both is, although our fourth years know a lot more, um, the curiosity persists. That curiosity of learning so you can do right by patients, so you can take care of patients, so you can better yourself and better them um, has been truly a hallmark of our students. And I think that curiosity and that passion is something that I hope they, that keeps driving them uh, as they go forward in their careers. Yeah, I love that you get to see them at the first and fourth you know, a year to the difference in the growth. Lauren, tell us, you know, you spend so much time one-on-one -on -one with students. You probably know them mostly of, you know, or, or most um, from, our, from our team. So what are your thoughts? So uh, like Stacey, I get to see people um, in first year and in, in fourth year. And I think what I just want them to leave Sinai with is a sense of who they are. You know, they come to us as fully formed people. They leave as a different version of that person. Mm -hmm. and, and I can only hope that we were there to help them discover their passions, their values, the things they want out of life, and so that wherever they go next, right, they know who they are, and we get to be part of that foundation. Oh, well, thank you for the work that you've done, and you do continue to support. And Lauren has said, hit her up when you're in residency. She'll answer email messages. Come in here, come in live from here. Uh, so, so Angel, you know, certainly in your work across the system and within our department for our students, um, you really are one of the strongest student advocates. Um, and so I first say thank you for your work. Um, but, you know, when you think about what we've recruited here and what we're sending out of here, um, what, what are your thoughts? My, um, I think our signature sort of experience at Sinai is that our students get to express their MD plus, and that plus is that full self-expression of themselves, um, and that could be through research, through entrepreneurship, through advocacy, and I have the privilege and the honor to hold that space, curate that space, um, engage in that space with them. I feel like I have the luckiest job as a faculty member and as an administrator in this school because I get to hang out with them outside the classroom and in the community and those spaces that um, triggers their passion and their compassion and I just want them to know that you have the wisdom uh, and you are equipped with all that you need to be an, an outstanding physician and to stop using medicine and to just always use medicine as a platform for social change. We need to trans transform the profession and uh, I, I look to you to, to take us in that direction. So best of luck, congratulations everyone. I know we can hear music coming from Aaron Hall right now from the basketball court. So what, summarize in one quick sentence, what does today mean to you personally? I think today is the culmination of four years of hard work and it is a moment to celebrate whatever that envelope has in store for you. Celebrate it, make the most of it, um, be proud of who you are and proud of the work you've done. Yeah, absolutely, absolutely. I think if you're a teacher, you know, you stay in one place and every year people move beyond you. And uh, it's one of the most rewarding days of the year if you're an educator. Yeah, yeah. you're totally right. Yeah. yeah. Angel? Just to, just to be able to have, be a part and be able to know that I had a role in some way, shape, or form is just a very fulfilling. So thank you for fulfilling me. And after two years, we can finally hug them, yeah. which is awesome. <laughs> and, then, and then there's that. Well, thanks you, uh, each of you. Please stick around for the day. You know, some of our graduates are headed out of New York, out of New York City, and we, we want you to be sure um, Sinai is always home no matter where you go. So when you are away and you might not be in the city, you know, there are more than 80 TV shows that are filmed in New York City. You can always feel home if you're setting someplace else. Um, and so no one better than to really send you off than somebody you probably see quite a bit. So let's just roll.
Hey, what's up? This is Ice T giving a huge shout out to the class of 22. Now, right now, I'm at Law and Order SVU in my dressing room. See my Scarface painting? Who has a Scarface painting in their dressing room? Ice T does. But this ain't about me. This is about you at the Icon School of Medicine at Mount Sinai in New York City. You guys are celebrating, and I am here to represent the graduating class of 2022. I know you guys have done a lot of work to get to this point. Now, what I understand is that the graduating students learn where you guys are gonna go for residency training on Friday, March 18th, and it's called The Match. God bless you guys. I mean, this is not something that's easy to do and it's something that needs to be really commended, you know? So love is love to the class of 22, 2022, excuse me, from Ice-T, backstage at Law & Order SVU. You made it happen. 2022, you're going to make it do what it do. It wouldn't be match day without Detective Tutuola to send us out for some, um, you know, congratulations. So students, we're entering the home stretch. We have just a few more minutes, but I want to share a little bit about this year-long crazy process known as residency. Uh, there are 127 students graduating at, on May 11th, and we celebrate each of your success and where you're headed. For those students that are going into residency, you're spanning across 22 specialties and 17 states. About 80 of you, though, are sticking around in New York, and so we're really excited to have you in our neighborhood, if you will. 25% of this class is headed into primary care specialties. About 22% are headed into surgical subspecialties. And then all the remaining students span from anesthesia to emergency, ob neurosurgery. There are lots on the list that I'm, I'm not uh, remembering, although I've been watching and seeing your results since yesterday morning at 8 a.m., so I kind of know where everybody is going. Um, I also want to pay a tribute to the students that matched in our earlier match programs. We have two military students that have matched, and so thank you for your continued service to our country and to our patients. Uh, we have a handful of students that matched in urology and ophthalmology. You already know where you're going, but hey, we're celebrating today no matter what. So this is the moment you've been waiting for, students. In your Sinai email, coming to your Sinai email is a very special delivery from Student Affairs of your results. If you also want your results in, from the NRMP, you can log into your system straight up at noon. But I need everybody, cameras on, crowd to celebrate. I hear cheers already out in the uh, courtyard. We're gonna count it down. When we end this countdown, you're going to receive your results. So everybody, count down five, four, Three, two, one, send those results and celebrate and congratulations to each of you where you're going. You're going to get those results electronically. So have your emails up and ready. We're watching on the screen for reactions. I see a sigh of relief. I hope someone is not driving. They're just a passenger in that car. It even looks like an airplane. I'm not sure where you are right now, uh, but really celebrate those results. We are just so incredibly proud of you and all that you have accomplished. Keep that camera rolling. Come down to Aaron Hall. Celebrate with your classmates. We really want to see you in person. And it is my absolute privilege on behalf of the Office of Student Affairs and all here at the Department of Medical Education just to send our heartiest congratulations. These results are a culmination of so many years, I see family jumping in the background. I'm so proud of each of you, and I know your families are as well. So congratulations, everyone. And we're going to stick around for a couple more minutes just to celebrate. Otherwise, we're headed out in the backyard for some champagne and a carnival. So come on by. Thank you all. Have a fantastic day.